Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. I have a package here that I've been waiting on since November. I ordered this doll November 11th when AliExpress had that November the 11 11 sale that they have and she finally came she came yesterday and i didn't even know that she was in the mailbox you know because i get home excuse me i get home it's dark and i don't usually stop at the mailbox unless i think something's in there that i need to get out i told you guys i'm guilty of not checking the mailbox every day i just don't but i got in bed last night and was checking my email and i had an email notification from aliexpress that my doll had been delivered well i was in bed and i was not going to get up and go out in the dark and go and check the mailbox you know i was tired i wasn't gonna you know open her and review her anyway so i just left her in the mailbox took her out the mailbox this morning on my way out to work and She's been in the car all day, and here it is, you know, I'm ready, I'm at home, 7.38 p.m. tonight, and I cut the tape, but I have not opened her to see um, how she looks. I know which one it is, because on the email, you know, it showed me which one it is. I have another one, the one that I ordered first, she's still out there to be delivered her tracking information hasn't updated since november 20th so i'm sure i'll get an email saying that she's been delivered or i'll open the mailbox up and she'll be in there you know that's happened before but enough rambling on it's a blithe of course you know by the title it's a blithe and i have been eyeballing this girl and eyeballing her for a long time and for some reason she would never go on sale and she finally was on sale when they had the sale so I said let me go ahead and get her so here she is in her packaging haha uh -huh. she comes with the extra hands so she's a um tan skin and here is the doll all bundled up traveled all the way from China let's lay her down Oh, and I got some, again, I've got a free gift. You usually get a free gift from the sellers. It usually is an outfit, but, you know, they've gotten a little different. I got a pair of shoes here, and they kind of look like Barbie shoes, and they're very pretty. I love that color. You know, I love high heels. Oh, yes, I do. I love these. Check out the bows on them. All right, she's going to she's gonna look a fabulous in those, guys. She really, really is. So here she is. They always come bundled up like this, packaged really well. I've not received one yet, even when the box is banged up. Now, her box wasn't that banged up, but it was a little banged up. Guys, my sinus, I have sinus pressure. My sinus bother me. I have to wear a mask all day at work. And when I take that mask off some days, I am just so uncomfortable the sinus pressure is just so awful. And then having to wear glasses most of the day with the mask is also, you know, very uncomfortable. You know, it's something that we have to get used to because I don't see the mask going any, going away anytime soon. But today was one of those days that it's really been bad. All right, so we remove that. And we've got another plastic bag to remove. All right, all right, there she is. She's so beautiful. Oh, I love her hair color. Her hair color is a very unusual color. And I couldn't really tell all that well on the promo pics. I like how they put the plastic coverings on the faces to protect the faces. And you know, I like to keep these because you know, I never know when I might need to pack my girls up. And um, there she is, there's that beautiful face. I love her face. Ooh, her hair is soft. These Factory Blythe dolls, I've said this in every video I've done, they have very nice quality hair. It's very soft, and, you know, it's very thick. And her hair is sort of, 
it's not purple it's not burgundy but you know i can see it i'm not sure how well it shows up here on the camera in the lighting but it's kind of like a dark wine like color mixed in with it and i just love it you know i they didn't say and they don't give you descriptions like color and stuff of um the hair color you just have to go with what it looks like and i was hoping and then someone had did a picture someone shared their picture it was another piece of tape now i've never gotten one that had well not a piece of tape but a piece of plastic there all right so i'm gonna have to get some scissors and remove that but let's go ahead and take her plastic off her body so I can show you guys the body if this is your first time. Um, I like to do openings of these dolls because so many of you have shown interest in these dolls. And you know, if you're like me, I always like to see openings of these dolls because and reviews because it gives you an idea of what the doll is going to look like. And you don't have, you know, you're not surprised. But they usually look just like their promo pics and stuff. And um, I haven't been dis I haven't been um, dissatisfied yet. I've been very pleased with my dolls. Now she has the matted face. She's like my fancy. She came with a matted face, and I really like her. You know, I've been dabbling in the um, custom customizing the Blythes a little bit, but I don't. I won't be doing anything different to her face. I love her lip color there. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I love her lip color. So I won't be changing her lip color. You know, I like for, I like the custom Blythe's a lot, but I love the original look and style of the Blythe dolls. I really do. So, you know, I, that's why I love her matte face. I love her, her hair color. Now I'll probably customize her eyes. Now I don't, I don't like the eye chips all that much, but let's go through her colors. All right. So this is like the peachy color I guess I don't know if that's supposed to be the brown and those are her beautiful eyelashes all right so these are the orangey ones turn into the side so these are like the brown ones then that turn to the and then these are the blue ones I usually leave the blue ones in if I leave if I change them and then those are her gray ones her great gray eyes so I'm, gonna, I'm not sure which color we're going to leave her on, but I'm going to leave them on the gray ones right now. And then her head, the head, sometimes it depends on the doll. Her head doesn't have a lot of turning and um, tilting in it, but I just love her hair. Just look at that gorgeous hair. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. And the color, guys, her hair is like a wine black. I can't describe it. It's like all of the hair is that color, but... I mean, it's just a gorgeous color, and I just wish that I could give you guys, yeah, there you go, there you go. You can see it a little bit, I think. It's just gorgeous. I love the length of it. It's not too long. I like this length, and um, I just love her. I'm so excited, and again, she has the matte face. Um, this is what the back of her head looks like. She doesn't have any writing or anything on the back of hers. I have gotten them before with the... Um, Let's go ahead and see if we can't take this off. I like the fact that they, you know, put all this stuff up there up on the doll to protect her. All right, so that you guys can see exactly how she looks. All right, so the plastic is off. I love the, um, the eyeshadow or the dark color under, over the, um, the eyes i like that and i usually don't mess with that again i won't be messing with her and they do have pierced ears she's got the pierced ears i just like her so much i just like her all right so the bodies are articulated they go out at the shoulder they bend at the elbow they will turn as you can see you can turn their arms they have articulation at the waist there the waist they have articulation at the hip the knee, the ankle, and their thighs also have that twist as well where you can twist and pose them in all kinds of positions. 
all kinds of positions and I just love these dolls. I am a big fan of the Blythes, the Factory Blythes. I like them a lot and like I said, I have dabbled in customizing a little bit but again, I love the original style of these dolls, the big heads. I mean, I just like the design and the sculpts of their faces. I just love her. She's just adorable. I'm so glad to have her. Don't have a name for her. Sometimes the name comes to me when I open the doll. Sometimes the name comes to me when I'm going to order the doll. Like Jupiter's name. I kind of knew I was going to name her Jupiter when I ordered her. And when I got her, that name stuck with her. But I don't know what I'm going to name this beauty. I just love her hair color. I just love this hair color. I mean, just look at that beautiful hair. It's just so unique. And again, like I said, I had been watching her and watching her. And I was going to get her whether she went on sale or not. I had made up my mind. So here's my latest life. And I'm so excited to have her. And I'm going to get her dressed. And going to give you a little photo shoot of her at the end. So always stay to the end. Because you'll miss a treat of the girls. And guys, I didn't tell you this as well. I, I just assume some of you might not know about these dolls. But they have... Um, you can remove their hands. Their hands pop off. Sometimes they pop off easier than other times. And then a lot of times... My hands, the grip of my hands are not the best. So their hands are removable. And, you know, I showed you guys that they come with a set of hands. I have given this little tidbit of advice before about the um, hands. Sometimes you can order from sellers and you can get a, dis a price a little cheaper. You know, sometimes to get the, ha the hands usually come with them. But sometimes they knock a little bit off if you don't want the hands. But I always like to get the extra set of hands because you can never get too many extra sets. I mean, the hands are a lot of fun. I'm putting her on these heels so that I can let you guys see her with the heels on. Now, how did that one go on so easily? All right, there we go. All right, so here are the heels. The shoes look fabulous on her feet. I mean, she looks absolutely gorgeous in those shoes. I love those shoes on her. Love those shoes. So, like I said, they usually give you a free gift. You know, you usually get a free gift. It's usually an outfit. But this time they gave me a pair of shoes. And here is my diva. And I'm so glad to have her. So glad that she finally arrived. All right, girl. Are you going to pose for the people? Well, no, she's not. Top heavy. <laughs> Top heavy. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this opening, unboxing, and review of my latest Blythe. I know I rambled on. It's been a long, long week, and I'm really, really tired, but I really wanted to open her, and I wanted to share that with you guys. I normally don't do videos at the end of the day when I worked because I am tired, but I... Like I said, she had been in the mailbox last night and she'd been in the car all day at work and I was just ready to unbox her when I got home. I had to run a few errands and I'm home and she's out of the box and I got to share that experience with you guys. I always love sharing with my YouTube family, you doll lovers out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you again for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram. Um, I'm Ruby Red's World of Dolls there as well. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.